the electric vehicle market has been growing with so much speed and every automaker wants a share of the pie. One of the world's most ambitious automakers, VinFast, doesn't want to be left behind either. With an empire that is worth $10 billion, VinFast is moving with alacrity and is targeting the US and European auto markets. So how did VinFast come about and what is their story? Let's find out. As hard as it might be to believe, VinFast started from the sale of noodle bars and progressed into the sale of cars. It all started in the 1990s with a Vietnamese mathematician, Pham Nhat Vuong. Vuong came from a poor home. He opened a noodle bar after graduating from a Russian university. His noodles took 3 minutes to cook, and in a world where noodles took 10 to 15 minutes, this made it the top selling brand of instant noodles within a year. The local students quickly became his loyal customers, and being an innovative person, he built a large dried food business there, which he later sold to Nestle for $150 million. The unrelenting Vuong did not stop at being a millionaire. He relocated to his native Vietnam to start his own property and resort business during the early 2000s. A few years down the line, he became the country's first dollar billionaire in 2015. So, have you ever heard of Vingroup? This is the comprehensive name for Vuong's empire. As of 2016, it had expanded to include housing, shopping centers, resorts, theme parks, schools, universities, non-profit hospitals, pharmaceutical businesses, AI and big data. At this point, most people would have been comfortable at that, but Vuong doesn't belong in such class. He wanted to step into the international scene. This is where he had the idea of manufacturing cars. VinFast car company leaped into being with zero staff, zero experience and absolutely no factories. While some people were still doubting their ability, VinFast entered the 2018 Paris Motor Show with its first two cars. Bear in mind this was coming only after two years of beginning its manufacturing. VinFast proved to the whole world that they meant business with their well-modified versions of the BMW 5 Series and X5, and in no time, VinFast started selling locally. The automaker began delivering gasoline-powered vehicles to Vietnamese customers in 2019. To get out of the gate quickly, the Lux SA 2.0 is a reworked previous generation BMW X5, and with the Lux A 2.0 is a riff off the BMW 5 Series sedan. Both of these have been redesigned by Pininfarina. A limited number of these SUVs were badged as President, and they had the four-cylinder engine replaced with a 6.2-litre LT1 V8 from the C7 Chevrolet Corvette. The most popular model is the VinFast Fidel subcompact hatchback, of which 36,000 were sold in 2021. Vietnamese buyers didn't need much coercing to support their own. The BMWs were affordable, the parts and service were cheap and available, and the quality was top-notch. VinFast quickly became the fourth best-selling brand in Vietnam, behind Hyundai, Toyota and Kia. Each model now leads its own segment, appealing to middle-class buyers. Continuing development at a sonic speed, VinFast added its first electric vehicle for the Vietnamese market, the VinFast E34 compact crossover. Deliveries began in December 2021, and 100 owners gathered in Ha Long on April 7th for a 200km caravan north to Cape Sa Vi, amidst great fanfare with beaming owners waving as they started the electric trek. Now, after consistently manufacturing petrol cars for three years, VinFast nailed it with its transition to all-electric by the end of 2022. Presently, it has successfully showcased four crossovers, the VF6, 7, 8 and 9. The VF5 model is closely following behind. In addition to driving one of these generic electric crossovers, VinFast offers its customers a whopping 10 years guarantee. The goal of the Vin Group chairman is to make VinFast the leading EV brand in 10 years. Since the most expensive part of the electric vehicles are its batteries, VinFast plans to sell its vehicles, but to lease the batteries to the customers for a small fee per month. That is not all, when the battery life drops to 70%, VinFast will change it for a new one. This is a huge innovation, but to be able to do this, they need more supply of batteries. Plans are already in place to begin the sale of cars in France, Germany and Holland in 2023. The progress of VinFast so far has simply been outstanding to say the least. 
The company is currently building a factory in America and is in search of a suitable location for other factories in Europe. After building these factories, Vong would have invested $10 billion into his car adventure. A bold move by VinFast to America is something that only a few automakers have successfully done. A larger percent of the global market for EVs are residents in China, yet none of its firms have delved into the US. But how does a startup from the technological backwaters of Vietnam seriously plan to compete? We all agree that it is not a small feat, but VinFast is definitely up to the task. With its parent enterprise VinGroup being headed by Vietnam's richest man, VinGroup has a total market value of $24.4 billion. Its 2020 revenue accounted for 2.2% of national GDP, and its reach is mind-blowing. The lightning pace of VinGroup has made it possible for it to cover almost all areas. In fact, there is nothing you can't do with VinGroup. To break it down, a Vietnamese person can be born in VinMec hospitals, study at a Vin school, live in a Vin home, shop at a Vin Com mall, graduate from Vin University, vacation in Vin Pearl Resorts, and even perhaps become one of its employees. Vin Group is currently a $39 billion real estate and hospitality giant. Its Vin Homes Ocean Park houses 35,000 residents and is expanding to accommodate 100,000 more in high-rises and homes made with man-made lakes, beaches, parks, outdoor gym equipment and Vincom shopping centres. Vin School, a K-12 non-profit education system, has become the largest system in the country. With the advent of VinFast, they can even commute in a VinFast electric car. The deep pockets of Vin Group have made it possible for them to assemble one of the best leadership teams in the world. This includes top personnel from firms like Ford, Renault, GM and BMW. The styling is by Italy's Pininfarina, the dashboard displays by LG, the batteries by Samsung, and in addition, they also acquired intellectual property from BMW and GM. Former General Motors designer David Leon has been VinFast's director of design since its inception. To get their unique design, VinFast compared the styling of Ital Design and Pininfarina. Then they asked the Vietnamese public to vote on the designs which they like best. When Pininfarina emerged as the winner, VinFast worked together with them to create a masterpiece. Another factor that has contributed to its publicity is the support of influential personalities like Joe Biden. In late March, President Joe Biden tweeted that VinFast's US investment plans were the latest example of my economic strategy at work. According to VinFast, this tweet earned them about 10,000 pre-orders from customers based in the United States. A similar thing also happened at the Select USA Investment Conference in late June, where the US Commerce Secretary, Gina Raimondo, dedicated a significant part of a five-minute speech to VinFast. On July 14th, VinFast opened its first overseas showrooms in California, including a flagship store in Santa Monica. Its first two models set for the US market are the solid-looking SUVs, the VF8 and VF9. VinFast has its first factory in Haiphong Harbor. This factory, measuring 827 acres, is situated on land reclaimed from the sea. Jim DeLuca, the startup CEO, is an Asia veteran who has previously spent a decade working for General Motors in Korea and also in China before retiring in 2016. He received an unexpected call from VinGroup the following year, which drove him out of comfortable retirement. VinFast has been moving with breakneck speed, achieving in 24 months what would normally take a well-established automaker four to six years. It is worthy to note that the company's strong partners, like the ABB, Bosch, Magnus Deer, and Siemens, have also played a key role to its amazing speed. So, VinFast has proven against all odds that it can make something out of an impossible venture, going from noodle bars to a billion dollar empire. Will he be able to continue to pull this off? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to get more updates like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.